Hey, I'm going to do a video tonight. I want to educate people. Okay, we've been in the dark too long. It's time for some education. Okay? A lot of people are misled to believe that these beads only represent Latinos. Now, I heard a video where, where someone was talking about these beads and they related to them as being strictly Latina. Okay? And that's not true. Okay? These beads originated... Hello? In West Africa. I cannot say this enough. And I want to do a series tonight to give everybody an opportunity to have some say so. There was someone in the chat room that was saying that they disagree with the fact that we should be initiated to wear these beads. I'm going to give you an opportunity to speak and to talk. We're going to do a video tonight at 10 p.m. Central Time or 9 p.m. Central Time. We're going to do a live stream where people can just bring their feelings to the table. You know, uh, because I can say how I feel all day long, but if some other people want to talk about what they feel. Uh, so the controversy is people think that these are Santeria beads. Okay. No, Santeria got this idea from West Africa, okay? And I want you all to Wikipedia this, okay? Just don't take my words. We're going to have some links uh, during the live stream where you can go and read the material because some people don't want to believe it unless they read it. Coming from your mouth is not enough. Sometimes you may just not be credible, understandable i understand i'm not credible so i want you to see it in black and white the proof is in the pudding these originated which most call elekye beads most associated with the latina practice of santeria only with santeria but the santerians okay the latinas which are also in the lineage line of West Africans actually brought the practice to the islands from West Africa, okay? And I think we, we need to shed some more light on the practice, Ifa, okay? This, this is where they originated from, Ifa. I, the reason why I'm stressing it, I'm doing, gonna do another video on it, is because YouTube pulled me from the mainstream when I did the last video on uh, uh, these being Ifa beads and it, uh, the practice originated from West Africa, they actually snatched it out of the mainstream with the other videos uh, that was related to uh, the practice of Ifa. So that's where I'm going. That's the direction I'm going. I know y'all coming to come on with me. I am looking to get the monies to go to West Africa. I got my passport. <laughs> I'm looking to, and this, this is a huge milestone for me. I know a lot of people it's not a big deal. they like, man I don't care nothing about that. I've been had my passport. This is just, you're just talking a bunch of baloney boot about that baby. We don't care nothing about that. This, this is nothing to, to us. But to me, it's something. And I'm encouraging all of you all here in the Americas to go and get your passport go and learn for yourself we've been miseducated a lot of black children do not know that Egypt is an African country they don't teach that in school they laughed at me when I said in school Egypt was in Africa they thought it was funny because they thought Africa was a little jungle and Egypt was this big country with the Sphinx and pyramids and Egyptians and stuff all to itself, one entity, but no. <laughs> Egypt is a country in Africa. You have the Europeans here, the elitists that are trying to tell us, no, it's a Middle Eastern country. That's what they want to teach the children, that it is a Middle Eastern country and it is not. 
it is within the continent of Africa. You have to leave this place to understand that history that they teach you in school is nothing but lies. Educate yourself. Ifa Voodoo Voodoo is the first spirit religion. Then Santeria Palo Mayombe falls as an extension. Did y'all know this? These are not these are not Santeria beads only. The Santerians say it themselves that they got the practice from West Africa. Research. Look up Ifa beads. Look up Ifa. Okay? We want to talk about that tonight. Myself personally, I do I do not think that African Americans, black people, people who uh, originated from West Africa have to be initiated unless they want to. I don't think we uh, are denied the practice but because you know someone who has been initiated or some of these godmothers, godfathers, I don't know, godfathers or whatever y'all want to call it, you know, say that we have to be initiated. Uh, if my ancestors are from West Africa, I have the right, the God-given right. I don't have to be initiated. If the Orishas are playing a part of my life every day, they don't think I need to be initiated. We want to we wanna talk about that. Do black people have to be initiated to be recognized by the Orishas? Whose idea was that? Was it the Orishas? The ancestors? Or was it man? That's like telling me you must be initiated to be able to have the right to go out in public and say you are a black woman. You need, yeah, you need to be, in order to be a black woman, you need to be initiated in order to have the rights to say you're black. Nah, those are lies. The, those are lies because that, that religion is very commercialized. And uh, like I say, these are Ifa beads. Or they can be Ileke beads. They can be the tools, they are the adornment of West Africa or the islands when you get into Santeria because they both use them but they once again got their birth in Africa it's the truth look it up look it up this is ours too okay there was, there was a black woman that tried to exclude black people from the practice by saying we're not Latinos. Hmm. You have to be a Latina to wear these? That's interesting. Or you got to be initiated to Santeria. I'm getting my initiation in Ifa. Ifa beads. I told y'all, I said when I get my Ilegua beads, I was going to show them to you. I got my Ilegua. Here's my Ilegua. I told you. I said, when I get them, I'm going to show you my Ilegua beads. You can't go nowhere until you first speak with the Ilegua. Okay? So, anyways, join me tonight so we can talk about this controversy. Do black people really have to be initiated into their own bloodline and lineage? When it comes to voodoo, voodoo, ifa? Do they really? Well, if you say they do, let's talk about it. If you say they don't, we can talk about that too. <laughs> Someone was saying, you ain't got to explain that to, to us, mom. It's, it's like, I think, I think I need to explain it to black people because black people are the ones running around with this crazy knowledge that, you know, if you're not initiated, into the practices that you 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 can't legitimately practice. You y'all get what I'm saying? Y'all get, 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 get it? We gonna talk about it. If you haven't, please rate and subscribe. Okay. And uh, 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 
You too. Please, I eat far deep. The reason why I'm telling you two that is because they're pulling me out of the mainstream as they continue to attack my channel and take the views away. People gonna get the message. Yeah. West Africa and Egypt, to all of you elitist, we need to get the word out to all of our children that Egypt is an African country. Yeah. <laughs> Egyptians were Africans. These come from the Congos. Ifa. Maybe not the Congos, but we'll say it, uh, uh, West Africa. Ifa. Mm -hmm. Look up the. I want everybody listening to me to look up the practice. Ifa. I'm shedding light on the Ifa, which it originated from the Yorubas in uh, West Africa. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh -huh. This is your God given right. If you are of African descent. But you know people of, of our own walks of life. All races. Races. Not racist. But races. R-A-C-E-S. Can practice. Hello? They can all practice. And they can decide whether they think they need to be initiated or not. They may feel like they don't have to be initiated. To partake in the practice of the The religion is there for all. Uh, regardless but uh, black people are not going to tell us because this is coming from black folks that we can't practice too unless we go and give out tens of thousands of dollars hello the Risha still recognized me too and I hadn't had to pay ten thousand dollars I got my Elekwa hello bye bye family rich and subscribe